And if we were ever in need of a bottom line and a big picture, <laughs> it's today. Here is Chief Washington Correspondent host of this week, George Stephanopoulos, to bring it to us. So, George, is this the day that this administration can say on the banking front they have sailed through the eye of the needle, they landed the Hamilton Pass, and dare I say, I had this sign made <laughs> just for you. Dare they say it? You're the last person who's ever going to hold up one of those yes, signs. Right. I think President Bush ruined it for everybody, but even though the administration will not put up the mission accomplished sign, they agree this is a big, big moment. Here's why. As Biana was suggesting, none of the 19 big banks now, according to the government, are insolvent. Remember, the first job to fix this economy was to save the banks. The government believes that's possible. Just we can as, really exhale and say the banks have been saved. Today we can save them. Not completely out of the woods, but they believe right now that the government is not going to have to come back to the taxpayers and say, we need more money to bail out the banks. The amount of money the government already has should be enough. And are they ready to say that the taxpayer may make money back uh, now, that they'll get paid back with some interest? The some fund dividend. is likely to go up before it goes down. That's exactly right. Tim Geithner, the Treasury of the Secretary, says that at least $25 billion should be coming back into the fund from some of the biggest banks, like J.P. Morgan, like Goldman Sachs, and might be even more than that. Now, a little more might have to go out to some of the smaller banks, but they believe they are not going to have to come back to the taxpayers for any more money this year, and that clears the deck for a lot of other big items on President Obama's agenda. As we said earlier, though, there are these parallel narratives going on in America right now. You have these improvements, this new confidence on the banking front, and yet the jobless numbers come out tomorrow. What are they looking for? What is it, 600? Can we put the number up there? Was it 640,000 last time we saw it? 663,000. And that's there it significant is. job loss. That means the unemployment rate is still going to go up. But there was a number that came out just yesterday, a preliminary number on un unemployment that showed the job loss last month was a little bit lower, below 500,000. Everyone expects that unemployment is likely to remain high through this year into next year. But there are some signs that the rate of job loss is starting to slow. That's good news for the banks, and that could start a virtuous cycle. If the banks are healthier, they lend more. They invest, business invest more, jobs are created. That's the hope right As now. As we saw, if we can just come down to 620,000, they will consider that advancing on the. And there's some front. signs that it could be lower than that. Even lower than that. Okay, last thing. Going to see a turn now that this banking crisis is this week. Next week, they turn to policy. And you say health care? Watch out for health care. Health care is the president, the Obama administration's number one priority for the rest of this year. They believe now that the decks are cleared on coming back to the taxpayers for more money for the banks. They will be able to make a real push for health care this summer. And they are going to drive to get it done before October. And they think the stars are aligning. All right. I am getting rid of this. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Thanks, George.